back everyone, hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be overwintering some of the tender plants in the garden. We actually had our first frost last night, um, so it was pretty chilly this morning, but it does go back up to about 10 degrees this evening and it's quite mild for the rest of the week. But I'm quite busy this week, so I just wanted to start overwintering some of the tender plants, including the red absinians which aren't looking too bad. You can see that some of the leaves have um, gone a bit yellow, but actually the new growth is still looking quite good. I might wrap up the sago palm as well, possibly. And then I've also got the Colocasia esculenta to dig up and the caladiums. The pink chinas are still looking nice. I've got a bit of pruning to do as well, as you can see. I've got some yellow leaves on the banana plants. And here's an update on the flower. I also wanted to cover the bar this week as we've got quite a bit of wet weather coming next week. So I need to cover that whilst it's dry. The Alstroemeria has started to produce some new flowers. I thought it was done for the summer and then all of a sudden it started producing new flower buds is amazing really and I'm quite surprised how well they're looking seeing as we had frost last night they still look great got some more here wow lots of new growth actually I think I'm also going to be chopping back the hibiscus ideally it would be best to leave it to kind of die back a bit more but it's really getting in the way of the path as you can see um, some of the leaves have already started yellowing but I think I might chop that back and I need to give a few other things a prune as well it's just getting a little bit too jungly out here the um, Nucifolia is still looking really good really really tall now so I'm going to be leaving all the canners for now as you can see my Caladium frog in a blender, it's pretty much done for, although there is a little new leaf coming up there. So I'm going to be um, chopping this back, digging up the bulbs and dry storing that. This lily also needs chopping back and mulching over. You can leave it to die right back, but I think last year I just chopped it back when it was looking like this and it grew amazingly well this year and multiplied loads. So with the bananas, I'm just going to be chopping off the leaves, digging them out of the soil and trying to get as much soil off the trunk as I can and then turning them upside down and making sure that there's no water in them. So it'll just make sure any water like drains out of them. Here's one of the caladiums that I already um, dug up and dry stored. This was big red. So all I do is chop off the leaves, try and um, clean off as much soil as I can. I usually stick them in my airing cupboard for um, a couple of days just to make sure they're dry and then I just pop them in a bag with some um, sawdust paper bag. As you can see I've got them all labelled up ready to go and then I basically replant these in the springtime. I keep these in um, a dark cupboard in the kitchen or you could keep them in your loft or under the stairs, anywhere dark and not too warm. So as you can see, I have removed the leaves, um, trimmed the roots, tried to get as much soil off as possible, and I'm just going to leave it here for 
at least 24 hours um, to drain to make sure there's no water left in the trunk and then that'll also give the soil a chance to dry out and then I can remove a bit more of that um, but it's draining here in a nice sunny position so I'm going to do exactly the same with the other one so after these have finished draining all I'm going to do is as I say just remove any any soil that I can um, pop them in a paper bag and either put them in the loft or in a dark cupboard in the kitchen uh, sometimes I'll add a little bit of cinnamon or yellow sulfur just to make sure that they don't go mouldy or you could put them in sawdust like I've done with the caladiums. Both the red abyssinians are now draining. So next up we've got my Colocasia esculenta. As you can see this one's already pretty much died back. So I'm going to dig it up, try and get as much soil off as possible and I pretty much um, dry store this exactly the same way as the caladiums. Colocasia esculenta tubers there, the caladium frog in a blender there. So they're just drying out there in the sun for a bit whilst I do some other bits in the garden. So I've just, well, made a massive mess chopping back the hibiscus. So as you can see, I've chopped it right back to the ground. And all I do with this one is just put a layer of mulch over it just to protect it from the cold and frost. I've had this one for about three years, I think, and it comes back every year. Never had any problems with it. So that's that one out the way. And then I also might chop back the Crocosmia as well, just because they're looking a little bit crispy and also kind of getting in the way. I just need to give the garden a good prune, really, um, just to tidy it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. 